Hey everyone, so we did our first IUI and it wasn't so bad. I was nervous, um, but I'll tell you more about what the, the experience of the actual IUI was and what the procedure looked like, um, but I'll give you a little background about the days leading up to it. So on, so we've been going every two to three days to get an internal ultrasound and blood work. I have bruises on my arms and the internal ultrasounds are not so fun. But on Tuesday, we went for an internal ultrasound and the doctor um, couldn't see, she could see some, she saw about four follicles that weren't completely matured on the right side, but she couldn't really see the left side. And what they've told me is that it's very deep. So that means that the ovary is in a position where they can't really see it with the scope when they go in for the internal ultrasound. Um, but luckily, I had been using um, OPKs, which are ovulation predictor kits at home, and they predict an LH surge. And an LH surge means that you're about to ovulate. And so I knew that I was surging and I told the doctor that and she said, okay, great. Um, you know, even though I can't see that left um, ovary and I can't tell if there is a mature follicle in there, we can still check your blood work and make sure that you're surging through your blood work. And so we go home that night and they called us maybe two hours after we got home, three hours, and they said, you're not surging. So, you know, we were a little bit defeated. What does this mean? Are the medications not working correctly? She said, it's okay, not a big deal. You'll come back in a day or two and we'll check you again. So we made another appointment for, I believe it was Thursday. That was Tuesday. We made an appointment for Thursday when we were supposed to go back and they were gonna check again to see if I had ovulated. Well, an hour or so after that, they called me back and they said, they read the wrong blood work. They read the wrong blood work and I was surging. So then it was a panic to get my trigger shot done. And the trigger shot is, is an HCG shot, um, which kind of tricks your body into thinking it's pregnant and releases some of those hormones so that, you know, if there is a follicle in there that is not all the way mature, then it continues to mature um, through ovulation. And so we did the, the trigger shot and that, was a little bit confusing. There's like two needles, one needle is really huge. Then there's two little vials, one's a liquid, one's a powder. And they, uh, Nolan had to take the big needle and excrete the, the liquid from the one vial and put it into the other one and swoosh it around so that the powder and the liquid mixed. And then he had to change the big needle into a smaller needle, thank God. And then you know, we prepped the area just like we always do. And in my stomach, he gave me the trigger shot. Um, the trigger shot was a little bit more painful than the Follistum. Um, the Follistum pen isn't very painful. It's like a tiny, tiny little pinch. Sometimes I don't even feel it. But the trigger shot I did feel. Um, I didn't have any side effects. Some people get nausea or um, uh, painful uh, injection site or really intense bloating. I didn't get those things, thank God. With the Follistum, I had been getting a little bit of headaches, um, like tension here, um, and just feeling a little bit bloated and tired. But with the trigger shot, I didn't have anything. So then the next morning, so that was Tuesday, Tuesday evening when I took the trigger shot. And then the next morning, on Wednesday morning, we had a very early appointment. And Nolan came with me. And so an hour before the IUI, Nolan had to collect his semen. And then they they take his collection and they wash the semen. And when they do that, they're taking out all the extra stuff that they don't need, um, any extra proteins or any extra stuff that, you know, naturally comes out. And they take the best sperm is what they say. And from that, they put it into a little syringe um, that has a little catheter attached to it. And that's what they use for the IUI. So that process can take up to an hour to two hours. So after Nolan gave his semen collection, then we waited in the car and we watched, I prayed, um, I cried a little. Um, we watched Sunday, uh, a Sunday service or our church had a prayer service 
And so we watched that and they prayed with us. And then it was time for the IUI. And the IUI wasn't bad. I was so nervous because I had this irrational fear. You know, I think I'm a little bit scarred from the HSG. That was so awful that I fear that everything is going to be like the HSG. But it wasn't at all. It was not scary. It was not painful. It was super quick. So I go into the room and the doctor has me lay down and put my feet in the stirrups. And they have me look at the syringe with Nolan's name and my name and my date of birth several times. I had to sign paperwork that that was the correct semen. And then the doctor really quickly he says, everything looked really great. Um, there were 27 million um, sperm, but there were 27 million of them and they want about 10 million. So it was fantastic. It was a great collection. Everything looks good. And he told me that my blood work and the estrogen levels and everything was consistent with the fact that I ovulated one follicle. So then time for the IUI. So I lay back and my legs are in the stirrups and they grab the, the little syringe with the catheter and he puts the speculum in and the speculum, you know, opens up the vagina um, to give him more room and space. And he has a little light that he brings over to him and... Before I know it, the procedure was done. Part of me even wanted to say like, oh, okay, have you started yet? Or was that it? Because I was waiting for more. I didn't really feel anything. I mean, like I kind of felt like liquid or warm inside, but nothing, no pain, no pinch. Some people say it's like a pap smear. I wouldn't even describe it like that. Um, I didn't have any issues. And Afterwards, some women can have some cramping or some discomfort or some bloating or some nausea. Um, they made me sign a little waiver that said that I was uh, aware of all of that, but I didn't have any of that. Um, over the day and a half, two days, I've had a little bit of bloating, but I think that that's just like normal bloating. Um, so then after they inseminated me, then I laid on the table for about 10, 15 minutes with my legs up or my legs... um on the table, um, not up in the air, but just on the table, um, and I was laying back. And that was it. So it wasn't scary, it wasn't painful, and I'm so happy about that. Um, you know, we're praying and hoping that this first attempt brings us a successful pregnancy and that we have a very sticky baby and that we have a full term pregnancy. So we will keep praying and I will update you when I know more information. You know, if um, we go in in one week to check, to do another internal, internal ultrasound and blood work. And at that point, they won't know if I'm pregnant or not, but they'll know if my progesterone levels and estrogen levels I'm not sure if that's correct, but if my levels are growing and they said that they could possibly see a fluid filled sac, which could be positive indicators of implantation and a possible pregnancy. So we will go back in a week. And then after that week, we go again for another internal ultrasound and blood work. And at that point, they can give us good news, bad news, or we'll try again. So we'll keep you posted. Um, I may not share right away if we get a positive pregnancy test. Um, I, I might want to keep that to ourselves and let you guys know afterwards, after we're in the safe zone. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. But thanks for joining me in my journey. Keep watching our videos. And if you have any questions, I'm an open book. I'd be happy to talk about it.